Welcome to the New St. John Fellowship Telecast, a place where we are becoming an end-time people for the end-time church. Our overseer is Pastor Clarence Stevens. We are located at 1615 North Toby Avenue, P.O. Box 1760, Gonzales, Louisiana 70707. Our telephone number is area code 225-644-2949. Our email is nsjohn at newstjohn.com. Our website is www.newstjohn.com. Sunday morning worship service will be held at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night Bible study will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. If you need help, we are compelled to pray with you and for you. Our major concern is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are saved. Make sure you let nothing keep you from doing the will of God. We ask God to bless you for watching. So, so that's the problem with people in the church house. Amen. You got some old bottles here. Amen. And I'm trying to put some new wine. Amen. So we're going to have a conflict. We're going to mess up the whole thing. Amen. Is that what Christ said here? All right. The bottle and else, the bottle break. I'm trying to put new wine in an old bottle. And the whole place is going to mess up. Amen. Hallelujah. And the wine runs out. And the bottles perish. Now, you the bottle. And the wine is the new covenant. So if I try to put the new covenant in the old bottle, it's going to ruin the church house. It's going to have confusion all over the place. All right. So I got to make sure we got. I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain what he's talking about. So I'm looking. That's why I'm talking about believing. Building the foundation. Because I got to make sure the bottles are new. When, if we got old bottles, I'm creating I'm going to use the colloquial term. And we're, I'm creating a mess. We got broken bottles and confused people all over the place. So first thing, we have to start a cleansing process. Make sure we got... I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. And the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are what? What does that mean? What does it mean? Now, the old bottle mean people that have not been born again. That's an old bottle. You hung up and tied up with the old covenant. And here come Christ, my brothers and sisters. You got to go through Christ if you want eternal life. Because God so loved the world that he gave it on that whosoever believeth in who that's that's very clear. Whosoever believeth in not the old covenant. Whosoever believeth what? Not the old covenant. If you still believe in, in the old covenant for righteousness, that's an old bottle. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, it is. And you're going to mess this place up. Hallelujah. So some kind of way, God's going to get you out of here. Hallelujah. You can't have. Yeah. All right. Okay, all right. Hallelujah. All right. You cannot put new wine in old bottle, meaning that someone is not born again. A new bottle is someone that who is born again. All right. So if you've been born again, I can tell it. You will receive the new wine. But if you have not been born again, 
You going to rebel. All right, I'm, I'm, no, uh, uh, we got to get ready to go to the promised land. All right. All right. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, somebody's heart ought to be feeling that one. All right. So they, I can't put new wine. Now you got to have the new wine. You got to have it. You got to have it. You got to have it. All right. So I cannot put new wine in old bottles. Meaning that you have not been born again. New bottle is that you have been born again. Can I get a witness there? Uh, now, why did I bring that up about the wine? You remember Revelation. He will be looking for Oh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I got to make it clear to you, hallelujah. And that's why I ask, we heading to the promised land. If you don't want to go, you need to make your decision. Because this ship is bound for the promised land. And when we leave the promised land, we're going home. Hallelujah. I would surely like to take you with me. I'm going. Oh, did y'all hear me? Hallelujah. Oh Lord, get on. Somebody ought to be feeling that one. I said, get on. Isn't he good God? Isn't he a good God? He's a good God. Hallelujah. No danger out in the water. No danger. That can you give me just a little time right there? King, King Jesus.
switch into new bottles? Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not finished yet. Oh, I got something else to tell you. I'm not finished yet. We we got to get this ship right. Paul said, I'll set it straight when I come. The Lord wants me to set it straight. You're going to obey. I don't have to tell you nothing. All I have to do is look around. That's all I got to do. The old bottle is going to distinguish themselves. Hallelujah. Oh. When he comes, he's going to be looking for new wine. So I can't put new wine in old bottles. So that means I got all new bottles and new wine. Hallelujah. Do you want to go? I said, do you, do you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if your new bottle, meaning you're born again, and you love the Lord. Christ said, I, you, you, you're you going to show me a sign. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to obey him. Oh, yes, that's it. You're going to obey him. Oh, did I get that through? All right. Okay. Well, now, I, I'm using a different method of preaching because he's authorized me to get you ready. If you don't want to go well, yeah, I'll let you. All right. so you you read that Christ stated that Himself in Matthew nine. You read that, is that right? You read that. He, you can't put new wine into old bottle, else the bottle break and the wine runs out. You can't help yourself. Can't help yourself. If you're an old bottle. You're going to break. Did you hear what I just said? Okay. So all I got to do is look around. And I will see broken pieces. Meaning you getting upset and angry. Hallelujah. All right. All right. And the Bible said the new bottles, the new bottles, when I'm preaching the truth, the new bottle is going to rejoice. I, all I can do is look around. Look around. You look around. The old bottle just sitting still. But when you hear the truth, the Bible said you got to rejoice now if you're not rejoicing you an old bottle uh, because i just told you if you love him what you're gonna do now you're, now you're we got to get this thing right yeah, go, whoever don't want to go that's your problem but he told me set it right all right so some of your best friends might fall out but that's all right we got to get this thing on one call. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. I don't know about you, but I want what God has. Not only in the afterlife, I want to enjoy this life. Anybody here want what I want? Say yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. 
I said that right? Yeah, I said that right. I said that right. And 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 now I I, I, I I did that because in Revelation, what is he looking for? All in one. You think God is plain? No. So somebody got to explain that to you. Now, I just read Romans 10, and some folks trying to do it with their own understanding. They're ignorant to God process. And I'm here to straighten it out, if you're willing to go. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we got to have new wine. New Bible, and I told you what that means. Is that right? You got to be born again. Hallelujah. The old bottles mean that once again that you are what? Not born again, and you are gonna act a certain way. And repeating myself, all I got to do is look around, and I can tell. Old bottle, they'll be creating a mess. All right, all right, all right. A new bottle means you've been born again. Only, only after you have been born again, you will with joy receive the New Testament teaching. I just said a lot right there. All right. I'm going to say it again. Say it again. Because I want to put it in your hearts. I want you to leave out of here with it in your heart. All right. And all you got to do, water it with your mouth. Speak it. What you got in your heart. All right. Hallelujah. I said, only after you've been born again, you will with joy. I said, with joy. Am I talking Bible? Receive the New Testament teaching. You remember in John 3 and 7, Christ concludes his conversation with a man by the name of Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews who came to Christ by night. Seeking information. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. Twice, Christ told him, Mama not, Nicodemus, I say unto thee, you must be born again. Hallelujah. I can feel him speaking to you and me. He didn't leave us out. Said Stephen, and what your name is, you must be born again. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, Nicodemus recognized he had a problem in his life. Otherwise, he would have never come to Christ. Do you believe me? Hallelujah. So it is in our lives. Uh, I'm here today for 
you listening to me? I'm here today because I know I, I really need the Lord. That's why I'm here. I need the Lord to help me and because I can't make it by myself. Hallelujah. I need to be born again. Hallelujah. I want to be a new bottle. Anybody here? Anybody here? Want to be a new bottle? So I can have, if I'm a new bottle, I want new wine. the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. That's why I'm, I hope you got a reason for being here today. Hallelujah. I need the Lord. Anybody else out there? Hallelujah. I just can't it by myself. Not gonna even try. Hallelujah. Feed me, Lord. Feed. Can I get some help in here? Slow it down. My, my, my brother and God knows I feel good here. Every time I think about how good God has been to me.
working with me. The process begins with you believing in God and Jesus Christ. That's where it all begins. Believing in God and in Jesus Christ. And if you believe in them and love them, you're going to obey them. Obey them. That's the next step. Obeying what thus says the law. And then you become a new bottle, meaning born again. And then you receive 